Hey YouTube, that Brady chick here. Sorry for the monotoneness, if that's a word. But um, it's just a really weird time. Focus. Focus. It's just a really weird time for myself and my family right now. Um, can't really talk about it here. But yeah, just some unfortunate events happened last night. Um, and I, I wasn't told about it till this morning. So all I'm going to say about that is just thank God for Jesus. Um, and thank you for this wedge of protection that he has around my family because what I heard this morning really could have gone the other way, but um, I just want to thank God for that, for protecting myself and my family, and yeah, just gonna leave that at that. For today's video, I wanted to focus on pretty much not really reviving my hair, because I kind of just washed it like a few days ago, and I had it in a twist out up until last night, and I, sorry, I had it in twists up until last night, and then I took it out into a twist out last night so pretty much i had an intuit since sun no yeah since sunday four days ago roughly so last night i took it out and now it's a twist out but anyway tomorrow's my birthday today is august 4th tomorrow's august 5th it is my birthday and i just wanted to like kind of do a special ish style for my birthday but it would require me pretty much re having to reset my hair so like wash it again and then style it a different way because this is not the style that I'm going for for tomorrow I want something a little bit different so yeah that's the point of today's video I'm just gonna take you with me on that process and now yeah, we're just gonna wash my hair reset it and then I'll show you the style that I'm about to do I might have already foreshadowed the style in one of my previous videos. I'll insert the clip over here. Yeah, I definitely got to do this for my birthday. What? <gasps> Jay. Girl. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, now you do. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to take you on that process now. So yeah, we're just going to start off by uh, pre-pooing. You know the drill, we just use some butter, conditioner, and coconut oil. My hair is pretty detangled because again, it um, was just washed a few days ago. So I'm just going to kind of section it off with my fingers. And I got my little hair clips here as well to help me out. The water kind of makes it more frizzy because over here you can see it's pretty defined and over here but over here, you could tell that the frizz is back, honey. And I think I'll just do like a music montage after this because this is pretty much all I'm gonna do to each section is just spray water and then um, apply the conditioner afterwards. I know I didn't apply any oil, but low key, I don't really think it's necessary at this point because the conditioner kind of does the job and it's gonna be rinsed out anyway. So yeah, I think this is good enough for a pre-poo. But yeah, I'm pretty much gonna do this all over and then section it into little plaits like I just did.
All right guys, so I just rinsed out my deep conditioner. If you wanna see how I do that, I'm just gonna insert the link to the video where I show kind of more of a detailed wash day, start to finish. Um, so you can see how I rinse out my deep conditioner through that, but for the sake of not making this video too long, I didn't want to include it. So you could definitely check it out when you're ready. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is put in some of our leave-in. This is a Jamaican black castor oil leave-in that I typically use before um, drying my hair. So I'm just kind of dispersing that through. I'm gonna do a quick job all around my head just so it's in there. So when I come back, because I'm planning to do my eyebrows real quick, when I come back, at least I could just jump right into the blow drying process. I'm also planning to use all of my waveformers this time. We're gonna follow in with my Afoji um, heat protectant. It's really a restructurizer, but I use it as a heat protectant. So. So I pretty much repeated the same process around the rest of my head. I just put in the leave-in conditioner, then the heat protectant, then twisted it up, and then at the very end I covered my whole head with a plastic cap, and then I went out to do my eyebrows. Alright guys, sorry you're a bit slanted, but just allow it for now. I just got back from my eyebrow appointment. I don't know if you see any difference because I don't really, but... This is what we're working with because this is all we got so my hair is covered for the most part it's in a plastic cap underneath this little thingy i was wearing all the products that need to be in there are in there so we can pretty much get started with these waveformers if you want to see a more detailed video of how i install waveformers you could definitely check out my first waveformers video if you like if not um, I'm just going to show you guys a less detailed version this time because I've done about this is now my third video using waveformers so I think <coughs> we should get the hang of it by now but if you haven't just check out my more detailed waveformer video that I'll post up here my waveformer ready and my hair pretty much ready as well so let's sit on with it shall we so remember how we coated each section, right? We put the leave-in conditioner, which was the Shea Moisture JBCO, and then we used some of our heat protectant spray. Doing your hair can sometimes become pretty, not boring, but like you might wanna watch something while you're doing it just so you can distract yourself from how long it's taking. So I definitely recommend putting on some good music or just watching Netflix as you do it. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put some music over this next part because actually, you know what? I'll show you the first one, how I do the first one, and then I'll put music over the rest. I'm using the Rev Air again to blow dry my hair. This is definitely something you guys have seen before. And again, if you wanna see a more detailed video of how I actually use the Rev Air, and then check the cards above because this will not be that detailed video you are looking for. This is just to show you guys how I quickly do this style for my birthday and that's it. On high, high heat. Then we're going to put it up to seven. <sighs> that's the thing I forgot about this too. It's too loud to even listen to music with. So... Um, I guess we're going me as a class. Oh well. Well anyways, it is stretched, so now we can just apply the waveformer. So now I guess we can part it into two. Okay, and then I guess we're gonna apply our gel. Maybe I'll use some of my Aunt Jackie's just because I trust it more for some reason. Um, okay, just hope I can do this quick enough so it doesn't revert. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, let's keep it there, let's keep it there. Got him. Yes. Okay. Cool. Now we 
gotta do the same over here. Okay, see how it's reverting already? It's because this gel is water-based, like many other gels that I own. So I'm not sure how I can alleviate this issue, but we'll think of something, I'm sure. I'm gonna wait for right here. I'm gonna put it between my legs. And now the gel. Uh. Yes. Fudge. Yeah, I think y'all get the point. Again, if you want to see a more detailed video of how I apply the waveformers, then please check out the video in the cards. Thank you. Good morning guys, it is now the next day. I know I skipped a few steps last night, such as the hooded drying process and what else? And oh, how I wrap my hair for the night. But if you didn't see my previous video on how I do any of that, I would definitely recommend checking that out if you wanna see how all this happens in detail, including the hooded drying process. I would definitely recommend checking out that video. So go ahead, cause like I said, this is not gonna be the detailed video you are looking for just be warned. So now we're going to, I guess, take it out. Um, I do have to meet my boyfriend for two o'clock. Right now it's 12.48, so I think it's about the right time to start taking these out. Yeah, I have on quite a few ties. Ooh, I forgot to do my edges. Okay, that's the next thing now. Hmm. I guess I'll do it with you guys and figure it out, right? That's what we're here for. Okay, I guess I'll use my wet line extreme with some Gorilla Snot. Not Gorilla Glue, but Gorilla Snot with extreme it's not gonna be perfect I just kind of want to at least have evidence of edges you know what I mean even when it has that white cast ugh annoying I feel like my eyebrow ladies tend to go a little too high up above my eyebrows to the point where they're taking off some of my baby hair because look at this this is pretty short my baby hair used to reach down to here like what happened you know i don't know i'm not sure why they do that like who said i want my baby hair gone the gorilla snot kind of lays it down a lot better like actually keeps it in place you know i just put like a dot of it so i'm not like overdoing it you know and then I kind of line it up with my nails. So those are my very subtle edges that I'm going to do. This is why, like, I, not because of that, but, like, this is why birthdays are no longer a big deal for me. I'm just, like, every year I'm just, like, next year I'm not going to do anything. Next year I'm not going to do anything. And then I end up doing something, and then I feel like crap. Actually, my birthday turned out pretty great, but uh, I'll show you later. You know, just want to lay it. Okay, I guess that's going to have to do for now. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in 10 minutes when this dries. And then we'll go from there, shall we? Okay guys, so it hasn't exactly been 10 minutes, but I have to go. So let's just get this over with, shall we? Alright, let's take this out. Okay, so don't have much time left, so let's get this over with, shall we? Start from the back, because that's what we always 
so okay remember i added gel this time instead of the mousse which i did for the wedding so gel instead of mousse okay so it definitely feels harder you know in terms of texture it feels harder than the mousse for sure which could be a good sign it probably means or hopefully means that it's gonna defy humidity so that's fine okay i'm just gonna take out the rest okay so far so good with the gel though like i definitely prefer this to the the mousse because i feel like the gel has more hold putting everything away in my plastic bag so everything is everything you know oh i didn't even tell you guys what i have planned today so i have um okay first i have to meet up with the boyfriend we're gonna do a quick lunch and then we head over to a karaoke spot which is where i'm pretty much having my birthday at and we're gonna meet my friends there and sing for like two hours and that's it call it a night i guess because my car is totaled which is not funny but you know things happen the texture is really good though i know it's hard and everything but it feels like it has more holds like a lot more than the mousse okay there's some white stuff from the gel but hopefully no one notices yeah yeah my hair feels rock hard it's all good all good. Okay. And remember, guys, I used every single waveformer I had. Every single one. Okay, just being careful, sorry. I'm trying to be at least... Yeah, so this is how it looks. I feel like I definitely got a little bit more length with the other one. Not sure why, because it's still my hair. But uh, this one definitely has a little bit more hold, or a lot more hold, I should say. Not bad, I guess. I don't know if I'm 100% impressed, but it's not bad, not bad. Like My hair kind of feels rock solid, low-key. But... Hey, it did the job, it's defined, it's waved. <sighs> I think if I had more waveformers, I would definitely have done a lot smaller pieces. Can I even separate them? Oh, I can. Okay, maybe if I separate some, it might be better. It's just, <laughs> my hair's just so rock hard. My hair's never been this rock hard before. I guess that's the beauty of this waveformer style is you can um, separate it if you like, you know, just to make it a little fuller. I'm just a little um, hesitant to do it because it's just so hard, like rock hard, <laughs> literally. How is it? It's okay, it has a lot of hold. And it's definitely harder. Okay, don't be so rough. Oh, it not come out like the other one. <laughs> but it's okay. The other one was more full. More full. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this one held it more with the gel. Mm -hmm. And then this one's a define your locks and control frizz with got to be twisted curl reviver cream. This color safe formula helps nourish your for moisturizer. So maybe I put both in two with two pieces and then pull it out. Yeah, but I'm sure you can use it to coil as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. I just wish it was a little fuller. I don't know. I'm heartbroken. Okay, give me one sec. One sec.
All right, guys, so I picked it out just a little bit, and yes, I'm wearing clothes. Okay, uh, so this is my birthday look, I guess. Yeah, my hair is very, very stiff. That's the word I was looking for, stiff. My hair is super stiff. But, um, ignore that if you can. But this is my hair for my birthday today. It's not bad, I'm not mad at it, but it could be fuller. But of course the gel is kind of gonna kind of impede that a little bit, right? Because it's super stiff, oh my gosh. But anyways, ah, it's fine. At least it'll defy the humidity, right? That's what I was going for. So this is the complete look. I'm just gonna step back so y'all can see. And then I have my colorful heels to go with it. So these are the heels that are going with it. These colorful ones by Jessica Simpson. I don't really care for brands though, but that's just what they are. Anyways, yeah, Jessica Simpson with these. I think it's like a cute little colorful outfit. Like, I don't know, I wanted to be a little different today of all days. Anyways, guys, I hate to end the video here, but I think I might have to. There it is. Hey, one sec. All right, guys. I honestly hate to end the video here, but I'm going to insert some pics at the very end. So thank you again for watching. And always remember, natural hair grows. Don't you forget it. Bye. I'm hot, okay.